Hello and welcome to the 22nd tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at fade in a node using the fade in action. We'll be using the source code from the 7th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JS provides us with loads of useful functionality to manipulate nodes. Most things in Cocos 2D JS are nodes such as sprites and menu items. We will look at fading a node using the fade in method, which fades it relative to its current opacity to full. Uh, let's open up our app.js, that's where our current layer is, and that's where we will be coding our action. So to create an action, very simple as we have been doing so far, just do var, name of the action, I'm going to call it sprite underscore action, equals cc dot fade in dot create. And now you just simply specify how long you want it to take, I'm going to put two seconds, you don't specify any other parameters, because this is to fade it into full opacity uh, from its current capacity. So let's just save it. We'll just close that tab, minimize. We're going to open up the terminal. And just clear that so it's a little neater. CD. And go to our project directory, run our project, running on the web. Let it load. Come on, come on. As you can see, this has no visual effect at the moment, as a node by default is at full opacity of 255, but we will set the opacity to 20 before running the action to show you the action well in action. So if we go here, we're going to do sprite.set opacity. And this just takes a number, an integer, ranging from 0 to 255. Um, basically, there's 256 increments, and 255 is fully on, fully visible, and 0 is invisible. So if we save this up, I forgot to run the action. So obviously, it wasn't going to work. So if we do sprite.run action, sprite action, and we, I'm just going to comment this out in a second. Refresh this page. As you can see, still nothing changes. But if we set the opacity to zero before we run the action, as you can see, it was invisible, and now we faded in over a period of two seconds. Little thing to note: you can't reuse action for different nodes. You either need to create a new one or release the old one and construct it again. Recommending is create a new action for the different nodes. The next tutorial will cover fading using the fade out method, which fades a node to zero capacity hence it would be invisible. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. Email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the requirements for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.